I'm going to be demoing an open source container vulnerability scanner called Trivi by Aqua Security. Uh, you can see it's located here on GitHub, uh, Aqua Security slash Trivi. Um, and very easy to use, very easy to install. It'll scan a bunch of different types of targets, including Docker files for configuration errors, and it'll scan uh, conta uh, container images for vulnerabilities, CVEs that are known. Um, and it can do some other types of scanning to look for secrets that are in your code and stuff like that. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. Uh, you can see there's a lot of different ways here to install it. Um, you can just do a yum install, uh, get uh, an app get, depending on the system you're on, you can download the binary. Um, I usually run it as a Docker image. Um, so let's go ahead and close this up, get right back here. Um, I just do a Docker pull, Aqua Security. Sorry, AquaSec Trivi. This is the Docker Hub name. You can see it pulled down. Um, and then you can just run it uh, as a Docker run. I actually have a script set up that I use that um, does everything it needs to uh, run it. So I can just run it with the Trivi command. Uh, but it's just a, sh a shell wrapper. Um, so, but one of the things it does is pass the uh, Docker socket and sets up a named volume so it caches all the vulnerability data that it pulls down. So it just makes it a little bit easier to run. And I have an update every time in case there are updates. Um, you don't have to have that. But um, let's go ahead and try it. So we can do a trivi uh, config check on a Docker file. And we see right away that it comes back and says, hey, the Docker file ran 22 tests. 20 of them were successful, two failures. The failures it was a from statement that uses a latest um, because that latest could change. And there's no user in there. Let's go ahead and take a look. It's a really short Docker file. Um, and you can see that, yeah, there's um, it's not using best practices. In fact, it has some hard-coded secrets and stuff like that. Um, so, anyway, so that's the uh, Docker config. Um, we can get it to to look for secrets, uh, pass some some different uh, uh, command line options here to get it to look through our configuration uh, for secrets. We can do that with a uh, fs, so file system scan, and we see that it picks up. Hey, there's something that looks like an AWS access key, something that looks like a, a secret access key, and something that looks like a GitHub token in a, com in a, um, in a comment down there. So that's kind of nice as well. Um, and the thing that's most known for, though, is being able to scan an image. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just copy this so I don't have to retype it. But Trivi image, and then the name of the Docker image is going to pull it right off of Docker Hub if it doesn't already have it. Um, and when we look, we can see that it um, detects that it's a Debian base. This one in particular is just a vulnerable by design image. I have 50 different checks, 26 or 50 different findings. 26 of them are low, six, 11 medium, six high, and seven critical. You can see it outputs it in a table format here. Tells you what what the CVE is that it found, where the library, if there's a fixed version, and details with links to the different CVEs that it finds. And it's going to do this for the OS. Just outputs in table format. It'll go ahead and do it uh, for any, in this case, Java, any NPM, Node, that type of stuff. Um, it'll go ahead and look and, and does a lot of different matching. Um, and that's really it. You can output it in a bunch of different formats, like JSON or something like that, so you can consume it differently. Uh, but it does do a very quick scan. It does constantly update that database, um, so you do want to cache the results into a named volume if you're running it from Docker. Um, and this gives you all the information you need to figure out how to fix the remediate vulnerabilities that are in your system. Thanks a lot.